welcome to the Go Legal Yourself podcast. This show is about knowing the legal life cycle of your business. Welcome to the Go Legal Yourself podcast, episode 16, title, Do I Need Insurance for My Business? I'm your host, Attorney Kelly Bagler, the queen of business law. You can interact with us on social media at Go Legal Yourself. And please do find us on the web at golegalyourself.com. Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic, and it is about protecting your knickers. If you don't know what I mean by that, you will have to go back to our previous episodes to find out. It it truly is about protecting your overall assets. Now, from the day that entrepreneur starts his or her business, they are exposing themselves to risk. Anytime you are doing business with the public, you're at risk. And this risk can even start before you hire your first employee. You can be actually faced with a lawsuit even before you hire your first employee and your business is wiped out, even before you start. That's amazing. Getting your business off from the ground. It's, it's incredible. So what kind of insurance would that be? So like right off the bat, you're starting a business. Let's say you finally incorporate. Yes. That's one protection. That's exactly what I was going to say. Once you incorporate now your business, th- that lays the foundation for the protection. Okay. okay. So it's always nice to have a second layer and it's highly, highly recommended that you do get business insurance. There are several different types of business insurances. And in fact, episode 13, we had a fantastic guest. She is a business insurance broker. Her name is Hadley Wood, and I have personally used her. And I highly, highly recommend you to go back and listen to episode 13 because you're going to learn the ins and outs of what types of insurances are right for your business. But going back to, you have to lay down the first line of defense. So if you're going to get sued, having an incorporation, make sure that your assets, your personal assets are protected. The next thing is you as a business, I'm sure you don't have a slush fund that's called when I get sued (laughs) account. No. I'm sure people don't have thousands of dollars tucked away under their mattress. So this is where the insurance comes in. It's the second layer of protection. So obtaining the business insurance, one, again, please talk to a business insurance broker, but let's talk about the different types of insurances that are out there for your business. The first one I'd like to talk about is professional liability insurance. It's called E&O insurance. And what that does is if for consultants, specifically for consultants and professionals who are giving advice, if you give bad advice or if you give wrong advice and that advice actually hurts someone, this is when this insurance will kick in. This one is extremely important for professionals that give advice. And yes, I have professional liability insurance. Yes, so you would be one type of business that would do that. Exactly. Another type of insurance that you might consider for your business is property insurance. And this is always important to have for the brick and mortar businesses out there. And also for investors, Real estate investors that rent property. Oh, right. Extremely important to have property insurance. So that insurance would protect their property if there was any sort of... Because everyone... Okay, so as a renter, you have your own renter's insurance. But if there's some property damage that they can... Like, oh, we're going to go after them. And then they're like, oh, you can't because we've got this insurance and they're going to take care of it for us. Exactly. Okay, that's cool. Exactly. Didn't know that. And then when you hire employees as a business owner... You must, must, must have workers' compensation insurance. Must. That is a law in California, and that would apply to even one employee. So when you're first starting out, you really, really want to sit down and, and discuss this with your business attorney. Is it appropriate for you to use your independent contractor or is it appropriate for you to hire an employee? And when you do hire an employee, what are all the other costs that go along with it? But if you do have employees, you better have workers' compensation insurance. 
The other insurance that your business might need is product liability insurance. Yeah. So this is when you are selling certain types of products. They could be gizmos, as you had (laughs) (laughs) mentioned in a previous podcast. Technical term, you can look that up. Exactly. (laughs) Or they can be called widgets, as we like to call them in the legal world. But yes, product liability insurance, just in case. Say say you're selling some, I don't know, tanning. razor. Oh, electric razor. (laughs) There you go. I was going to say tanning products. (laughs) Do we need that in California, really? (laughs) Everyone uses them. Come on. They do. They do. They do. Especially Irish girls. I know oh, that for a easy, fact. Easy, easy, Ginger. <laughs> ah, don't you scare me. Uh oh. <laughs> but say, say that um, electric razor, you know, hurts you in a way, damages your skin. That's where your product liability insurance will kick in. Well, like, okay, so like what those, uh, what was it, the iPads or the things that were like exploding on, on the airplane? Yes, yes, yes. Product liability insurance. Anytime you have a product, not a service, a product, you're, you're selling something, have product liability insurance. And that protects you, the business owner, and your assets? Yes. So, okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now, for example, with Go Legal Yourself, we actually sell products. We sell you know, high-end products and you can go on to our website and have a look at what we sell. But those products actually have liability insu- product liability insurance. Right. So those are the types of things that you want to use product liability insurance for. Okay. Anytime you're selling a product. And I'm sure if you run a business where you are delivering certain things to customers or you're using personal vehicles to deliver certain things or you're driving around from one customer to another, you better have vehicle insurance. And I don't mean your personal insurance for your personal car. I'm talking about business related. So you're traveling from San Diego to Sacramento for a business trip. Who would go to Sacramento anyways? But that, I I digress, (laughs) I digress. But you go to Sacramento regardless and you get into a car crash with someone and you're on... Um, you know, you're, you're driving business property. Well, that's where this vehicle insurance will kick in. So it's the business car. The business car. Okay, quick question then. Yes. So you're an independent person driving for Domino's Pizza. You're using your car, right? You got the little Domino's triangle on their on their car. Uh, who's paying for that insurance? Domino's. Obviously, Domino's pays for that. Domino's. As soon as you take that little wow. triangle off, that's all on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Domino's is paying for that. Okay, thank you. And then another type of business insurance that business owners probably don't know exists is a business interruption insurance. That's huge in California. Do you remember back when Northridge had a massive earthquake? Oh, yeah. It was massive. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Businesses actually shut down. Of course. The oh. business was interrupted. Say your business has a massive leak. A flood and, or something. And yeah. a flood and you are closed for a week. Business interruption insurance will kick in and they will make sure that you don't lose a penny. Isn't that fantastic? Really? Absolutely. So do you get compensated? Is it like a compensation that they give you for having, because obviously you're losing. So do they take some sort of like average and then just give you? Exactly. That's yes. awesome. I yes. didn't know that. Sorry. Yeah. So these are okay. certain types of business insurances that business owners really, really need to consider. And again, it is case by case. And I huge, I, it's, it's, it's extremely important that you do sit down with a business broker. I recommend go into independent business brokers because what they can do for you is they can shop around rather than you sitting at your computer right. and, and trying to find out what insurance works for you. Go to a professional and trust me on this one. I have used Hadley multiple times and she's been fantastic and she always comes in with the best rate possible. And she's very inexpensive too. So I was going to ask you about that price-wise. Very, in, very inexpensive so to use a broker. Like, oh, well, and isn't it inexpensive overall for like uh, just business insurance it in is. general? Is it, like- it is. It is. Yeah. Depending on, again, the type of insurance that you need, it, it is very inexpensive to have business insurance. I would not recommend you running your business without that insurance. 
There's another question. Yes. I'm going to challenge you. Yes. Is it a write-off? Yes, it is, because oh. it's, it's an expense. Okay. Absolutely. That's a, that's a great write-off. Are you testing me, Moo? I honestly am just asking you questions. <laughs> I, I, I don't should. know. But yeah, no, that, that's a great question. Yes, it is a write-off. It's so, a business expense. Okay. I have another question challenge. Yes. Um, as a business owner... Is there one, like just in general across the board, is there one insurance that everybody should have like in place? General liability insurance. That everybody should have. Everyone should have general liability insurance. Oh, it's like renter's insurance. Everybody should have it. It's whatever. Nominal. Okay. Yes. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that will conclude our segment on why business insurance is extremely important to business owners. And remember, we are here for you. Go Legal Yourself is all about creating powerful, successful entrepreneurs. If you have any questions or you have any comments or you feel like my English accent really isn't (laughs) a real English accent, please drop us a comment. Go to golegalyourself.com. Go to the contact page. Drop us a comment. Drop us a question concerns anything that um, pops into your mind as a business owner like what's a moo exactly (laughs) if you ask me what a moo is i might i might actually answer that question for you on the air it's already been answered (laughs) episode one episode one (laughs) but remember the only way you do become successful is if you make today the day you go legal yourself i am attorney kelly bagler the queen of business law and it has been a pleasure being your host until next time Cheers to your success.